Hello everyone, welcome to all of you to my YouTube channel. Today we will discuss about the long run equilibrium of firm and industry under perfect competition. As we know, long run is a time period where the firms get sufficient time to change all of its input. And hence, in the long run time period, the market supply can be adjusted according to the change in the market demand. This is due to the availability of sufficient time to change all the inputs. Hence, in the long run, all the firms are in equilibrium because they can adjust their plant size so as to produce at the minimum point of their long run average cost curve. And this long run average cost curve will be tangent to the demand curve that is average revenue curve defined by the market price. And now we will study how the firm and industry gets equilibrium in the long run under perfect competition. An industry is a collection of many firms producing homogeneous products. And an industry can be in the equilibrium when it fulfills two conditions. Number one, market demand should be equal to market supply. And number two, all the firms in the industry should be in equilibrium. And it is also to be noted that a firm will be in equilibrium when these two conditions are fulfilled. Number one, marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost. And second is marginal cost curve should cut marginal revenue curve from below. It means the slope of MC should be greater than the slope of MR. And it is also to be noted that all the firms in the industry will be earning only normal profit in the long run time period. This is because of the characteristics of free entry and free exit of the firm. Because when there is excess profit in the market, then it will induce, it will attract new firms to emerge in the market. And when new firms enter into the market, it will increase the supply of the product and hence the excess profit will disappear. Similarly, whenever any firm which is suffering from the loss in the long run time period, then it will exit the market because no any firm can handle the loss in the long run time period. Therefore, all the firms in the long run time period will earn only the normal profit which is defined as average cost will be equal to average revenue. And now Diagrammatically, we will study the condition of the equilibrium of an industry and a typical firm. Here in the first diagram, on x-axis there is quantity of the output and on y-axis there is price. Here D, D is the demand curve whereas S, S is the supply curve which intersect each other at point E. Therefore, E is the equilibrium point of the industry and at point E, the equilibrium quantity is OQ whereas the equilibrium price is OP. This equilibrium price is determined by the industry and this equilibrium price will be accepted by all the firms into the industry. Therefore, this OP price will be accepted by this typical firm and the price will be OP. Okay. And we know under profit competition, AR and MR curve will be the same line parallel to X axis because price remains constant under perfect competition. Now in the long run, we draw a LSE curve which will be tangent to the AR curve LAC. Okay. This long run average cost curve is tangent to the AR at point E1. Okay. Now we will draw marginal cost curve of the firm which is long run marginal cost curve and when this LMC increases it will cut MR curve from below. This is LMC curve which cuts MR curve from below at point E1. Therefore, at point E1, the MR is equal to MC 
and MC has cut MR from below. So the equilibrium point will be even for the typical firm and at equilibrium point the firm is producing and selling OQ1 units of output. Okay, And hence at point E1 we can easily see that the average cost is equal to the average revenue. So here AC is equal to AR. Therefore, the firm is earning only normal profit. And like this, all the firms into the market will earn only normal profit in the long run time period. And all the firms in the market will be able to adjust their plant size so that they can have the production, they can produce the goods at the minimum point of their LSE. Hence, this typical firm is achieving its equilibrium at point E1 and its equilibrium quantity is OQ1 and equilibrium price is OP which is determined by the industry. And in this way, we can describe diagrammatically the situation of long run equilibrium of firm and industry under perfect competition. And along with this, I would like to request all of you to like and share my videos as well as subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.